everybody, Brian Davis Races, and you can too! Today we're going to try Trainer Road's new group workout feature. Super, super excited about this. I think it's awesome. This is all you got to do. So you do have to be on your laptop uh, of PC or Mac. This will not work on your iPad or your cellular phone. So, once you launch the app, make sure it's the app, not the website. You definitely have to use the app. So, download the Trainer Road app from whatever app store is appropriate. Uh, that'll boot up eventually. If you already have it, you're definitely going to have to do an update to get the group workouts feature to show up. And the update does take more than a couple minutes, so make sure that you give yourself some time for that. If, but it is extremely easy to make this thing work. So, eventually, when the app fires up, I'll show you how it works. So, this is inside my Trainer Road app. Of course, right now I'm under the calendar tab, and it has all my my workouts listed of all the things I've completed and all my plans for the next couple weeks, uh, months, whatever is in there. For I'm using Plan Builder, so all that stuff is in there, right? Awesome. Now let's say I want to do a group workout with somebody, so I can go in here and pick whichever workout I have coming up that week, and I can just get that code, and then that code is good to go. So we, if it's Friday that I want to ride with that person, I can go create this a few days earlier. As long as they have that code, everything's peachy keen. Uh, but even if it's impromptu and you want to start a group work workout with somebody, there's two ways to really get this done in my opinion. You can go into the group workouts tab and that's where you're going to enter a code if someone did give you a code. But if you want to create a workout, you could do that here by browsing the workouts, finding the one that you're supposed to do, entering that, and then starting the workout. But it's much quicker to go over here to your calendar where you've already got your workouts all planned out and then you just pick whichever workout you have planned that that person wants to join you on and you see create group workout right in that workout how cool is that so you just click that now you got your code and that's all you need you just send them that code uh, and you're good to go so I can like I said I can start this workout and we can have it open in workout mode as long as I don't start pedaling nothing happens uh, so we'll just sit there for they could go get dressed, take, get get their food, get all this stuff ready, and then we could say, let's meet in 20 minutes. We'll actually actually start the ride. So what will happen is your devices will pair uh, down there. You'll see, just like any other time you do the pairing, you'll see your heart rate monitor and your power meter show up there. Each person on the workout gets a workout specific to them. So this particular workout, I uh, forget the name of this now already, uh, might not be what's on my friend's plan, but if they choose to do this with me, that's what they'll get. However, it will be based off of their FTP, and they are in control of the intensity factor. So if they're not feeling great that day, they can drop it down to 50%, or if we just want to have a conversation without killing ourselves, we could do that. Whatever the case is, it's very customizable in that sense. You will not see the graph of the other person, but you will see their power and heart rate. So it's really cool if they make sure that they connect those things. But in order to get started in there, you're just going to turn your mic on, and then turn on your uh, camera. And I like that they made these buttons super easy because like in the workout I did in this video, um, the person I'm riding with wanted to play music during the hard parts. And I can't talk during the hard parts anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> so he just turned off the mic, played his music, and everybody was happy. And then in the in the troughs, uh, recoveries, we could, we could chit-chat. So uh, if you're having trouble seeing or hearing somebody, this is how you will go adjust that, the microphone, the speakers, and then the uh, webcam is all set up in there. Now, people can join late as well. I found that out. That's really cool. So if somebody's running around and they we have a 4.30 workout and they don't get there till 4.45, no problem. They'll just join us 15 minutes late and they'll be in the workout wherever we are at that moment. They won't start over at the beginning. So that is the nuts and bolts of how the app functions. Now, I'm going to show you the workout, but more importantly, I'm going to show you what this means to you and how this is actually a performance benefit. And that's what I think some of the other earlier videos about this feature have missed. They go through the technical parts, which is fine, but what does it mean for me as a rider? What am I getting out of this? How is this helping me grow my fitness, grow my knowledge, or grow the sport? And this is definitely going to help you grow your fitness, 100%. All right, let's check out my experience with John in a group workout. Oh, man. So this is really fun, I got to say. This is really, really cool. I'm, I'm very excited about this. Woo. Not the workout part. Just see my friend John. 
All right, let's get into this. When you launch the app, you can pair your devices, your heart rate monitor and your smart trainer. You can even calibrate them right before you start your workout. You can choose between erg and resistance, and you can switch those actually during the workout. So that part's really cool. I had a lot of trouble with my heart rate monitor. Gotcha. That's cool. My heart rate is working intermittently. <laughs> so. All right, before we get into the workout, I wanted to point out that you can find a lot of information on the Trainer Road forum. They have a group workout sharing space where you can go post your workout. I'd also really appreciate it if you would like uh, the video and leave a comment down below, or please do consider subscribing. It really means a lot to me. Uh, I work really hard on these videos. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you later, buddy. Love you. And they're not super simple to put together, so it really means a lot to me when I can impact other people. So here is the thing with this group workout. It's really, how does this motivation of having somebody else work? So there's two studies I found, and both of them were kind of mixed. Uh, they found it was running, so it's not totally applicable, perhaps. But um, but the, the studies found, the first study found no real benefit by having pure, pure people involved in your workout. The second one found uh, their high-end efforts did improve, so or their starting process. So, I, I but I can tell you, regardless of what those studies find, there is absolutely, positively, one hundred percent, no doubt in my mind that I pushed myself way harder to get through this workout than I did in the past. So last year, I really struggled to get through build. So I'm going to go pull a workout from the build um, section of Trainer Road last year and compare if I can find a similar workout to this for four minute. Uh, maximal efforts. Now my uh, audio got messed up. I couldn't record. I had those headphones in, so that messed up my ability to get John's audio. So I apologize for that. Um, but I'll, I'll connect with John and we'll see if we can uh, get his thoughts on this whole experience. Overall, my thoughts are this was great. The technology to get this thing going, super, super simple. And that is the, the worst part because there's so much technology entering and cycling. Like if it's hard, it's not fun. But once you get through the tech stuff, which again, super easy, you're all set to go. I can see John working hard. We cheered for each other. We got to catch up. And especially with Hi, where we're at right now with quarantine, Hi. being able to How see you? your friend, your teammate is super motivating. And this workout is not easy. I thought I would, maybe I should have done an easier workout. In retrospect, I'm glad I picked a really hard workout because Sorry. I think this is really where the rubber meets the road. We could do a light spin and catch up on life in general, but having this... Especially, I don't know, maybe it's the way guys communicate, but having this thing to focus on every few minutes, we have to kill each other and not talk. It's pretty perfect. It really is pretty perfect with the way that uh, that dudes communicate. So overall, love it. All right, friends, that was um, hard. You know, there's no way that I would have done that without John being there cheering me on or trying to get me through that last interval. And it sucks that I fell apart a couple times, but there's still probably 10%, you know, I don't know if I edited this in, but at one point during the workout, I said that's like 10% better because of peer pressure. I got 10% more work done. I worked 10% harder. I got 10% more watts. If I do that today and I do that tomorrow and I do that the next day and the day after that, like those little 10% really add up to being kind of a big deal. So I don't know. I think there's definitely some performance gains to be had from a psychological point of view with this trainer road video thing. Um, but yeah, overall, man, first impression, 10 out of 10. Absolutely love it. Really, really cool. I can totally see a, a tight-knit group of people being formed to knock out workouts, whereas I love Zwift, but you know, having it's really hard to make any sort of real connections on Zwift because it's so fleeting and it's really difficult to ride together on Zwift. Frankly, it's very difficult to ride together unless you go through the extra effort to put a... a private group ride together which is a really cool feature don't get me wrong but it's still not it's not like seeing your friend i don't know it's just not the same and i tried it with discord and i had it was fine but this was way better really cool all right Whew, i'm beat i'm gonna go get my nightly cocktail see what my actually let's go up there let's go up there y'all let's see what oh the paloma Alright, Paloma it is. I'm making mashed potatoes right now. Thanks for making mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. You're the very best. And hamburgers for the kids. Yes, hamburgers for the kids. 
say goodbye to YouTube. <laughs> Bye, YouTube.